Music and emotions. It's a tough topic. You usually don't think about your emotions when you're talking about music, but whether you know it or not, you are experiencing emotions through music. Uh, for example, let me just uh, play this song for you, and I'll come back real quick. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. Now, how did that short bit make you feel? It should have made you feel sad. Well, that's because it was a lower frequency of sound. And naturally, in science, if a song is kind of calmer, um, quieter kind of, it will make you feel those type of emotions, the sadness and the uneasiness. Now, let me play you a um, happy song, and I'll come back. I wish you could have heard the music when the clouds cloud overhead. I finally felt enthusiastic. I finally felt That made you feel happy, right? Well, that's because it was a higher frequency. It was more upbeat. So it went into your brain, and your brain sensed it as a happy song, and you felt happy because of that song. Now, finally, I'm going to play a minor chord for you. That made you feel sad because it was a, um, it was a like lower frequency, and it was a um, lower sound. Now, let me play you a major chord progression. That made you feel happy because it was constantly getting higher in frequency and it's used you are used to hearing those kinds of things so that is the emotions and that's how um, music and emotions are connected you might not know it but they will always be connected 